are you all? Welcome back to Wang RB channel. As I promised last time, I'll be sharing with you tips on how to pass your driving test just the first time. So here it is. But before that, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Wang RB channel. So here are the 10 important tips on how to pass the driving test just the first time. First, be familiar with your car. You should feel it. You should um, know the parts and the uses of it, like the signal light, the headlight, the foot brake, um, the start engine, horn, windshield wipers, emergency flashes, turn on your aircon, and everything. So you should be familiar with that first. Second, practice, practice, and practice more. I suggest that you should be practicing like 30 minutes at least 30 minutes a day especially like a week before your driving test you should be practicing practice inside the neighborhood and then you could also practice outside your neighborhood at like on the road so that you will be uh, familiar with the traffic rules and signs and yeah at the driving test route or route if um, you know where it is that would really be a great help of course, don't forget that you have to practice with an instructor or with a coach with you. It could be an um, instructor that you're paying for or you, it could be a family member or a friend. So yeah, you could uh, get all the help that you wanted from them. So practice, practice, and practice. Number three, learn the basic traffic rules and signs and be alert. On uh, the stop signs and stop lights, you should have a complete or full stop. And then on all way stop, you should um, be mindful that the first car who came in first should be the first one to go. And then if you are the next one, then you could go. So that's number three, learn the basic traffic rules or signs. And number four, mind the speed limit even if there's no sign. So how would that look like? Uh, if you know the driving test route or route, then you should navigate. Uh, you should know or research what is the speed limit of that area or particular area so that uh, during your driving test, you are ready. No worries, right? So that's number four. Mind the speed limit even if you don't really know or you cannot see the sign. If, if, um, if you are already familiar with it, then just um, it would just be easy for you. Number five is slow down and keep one to two cars between yourself and uh, the car in front of you. This is for your safety and at the same time, yeah, it is being observed during driving tests. So be uh, careful and you should always remember that. Slow down and keep one to two cars length between yourself and the car in front of you. Number six, brake as smoothly as you could. This uh, comes with a big point during your test. So do not push um, like suddenly on the brake. Whenever you are heading to a stop sign, be mindful and then slowly brake. And then when you are there, it will just go smoothly. And, oh, and remember that when you are on in, on an intersection, do not go over the line. That's important thing as well. Number seven, always use your turn signals whenever you are going left and going right. And one thing that I also have learned is that you should exaggerate your look whenever you are having that turn. Example, I'm going left, so of course I will turn on my, my uh, signal light and then I will look like that quickly but exaggerate and then if you are turning right turn on your signal light and then like that say exaggerate but it should, should be it should be quick so always use your turn signals on going left or right number eight check your rear mirror whenever um, you are changing lanes also you have to look quickly at the back all right so example you are turning all right turn on your signal light look at your rear mirror look quickly at the back if it's really safe for you to go then you can go but it's not necessarily that as you turn on your 
uh, signal light, you, you should be going right away. You should uh, be careful. You should just check your um, mirror first and then a rear mirror first and then quickly look at the back and then if you are safe, go. So that's number seven. Uh, number eight, I mean. Number nine, steer smoothly. All right, so some, um, some are requiring 10 to position of your hand on the wheel. I'll just turn on my engine. Okay, so this is 10 to and this is 9 3. So the updated one, they usually ask uh, or require ten, uh, 9 3, but it's up to your um, area, so you have to be um, mindful. You have to uh, ask or you should research what is being required of you. Okay, so this is 9 3, and then um, there are three types of like steering your wheel, but it depends on your area as well. You should know what is being required of you. But here they usually uh, require us hand over hand. So hand over hand is like this. Okay, go in, left, go in, and then right is there. Okay, so <clears throat> like that. Like that. Okay, this is hand over hand. All right. So that's being uh, required here in Colorado. However, <clears throat> if it's a small turn, um, feeding the hen, or they also call milking the cow is also um, acceptable. So feeding the hen is like small, small, like that, like this, like small. Okay, so feeding the hen, like this. So yeah, it's usually can be used when it's just a short turn. And then uh, one type is called um, single or they call it wiping the dishes. Okay, so you are like just using one hand, so like that, but your right hand is just supporting it. Okay, it's only the left hand who is like steering the wheel, but of course your left hand will be hard up. Okay, so yeah, that's called wiping, wiping the dishes or singles, like that. Okay, so um yeah I, you have to uh, know what is being um asked or required of you in your area what a kind of steering or um, type of steering and then go for it practice and that's it that's for number nine steer smoothly as long as you could uh, steer smoothly and that's the the one being asked of Go for it. All right, and now number 10, be prepared, be calm. So if you are prepared, of course, you will be calm during the test. So before the test, you should sleep well, you should eat well, and then if you still uh, feel nervousness during the test, take a deep breath and drink water. All right, so don't panic. Just think that you can do it. Show your tester or the one testing you that you can do it. You can drive safely and you can do it. And that's all. That's the 10 important tips on how to pass the driving test just the first time. So if you forget something, you just get back to my video. And if you have question, just write it down in the comment section below after, the, I mean below this video. And I would um, try my best to answer the soon as possible time. So that's it for now. I hope to see you on the road. Thank you for watching. Bye and God bless. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Wang RB channel. Bye again. See you on my next video.